Welcome back. The gates to the Lawrence County Fair are officially open to the public. The 68th annual fair kicked off yesterday at the Lawrence County Fairgrounds. Yeah, this six day long fair features carnival rides, great food, truck and tractor pulls, a demolition derby and even goat Olympics. Sounds yeah. interesting. <laughs> Selena Fabiani Matheson is always down for a good time at the fair. She is live there at the Lawrence County Fair. So Selena, you got to tell us what you're seeing. What are you doing there? Heather and Mikey, let me tell you, this fair is unlike the rest. This is a week-long fair here in Lawrence County, right on the fairgrounds. There is so much to do. I know you mentioned all the great attractions, like the good food, the carnival rides, but the animals is what I'm really all about today. I've been doing a lot. I've been learning a lot with the animals, and I'm going to do even more where I am right now. I first want to bring in one of the fair directors. This is Melinda Marks. Good to see you today, Melinda. Hi, thank you for coming out to see us. So what makes this this fair stand out? Oh, so we have many things. So this is the 69th annual Lawrence County Fair. And um, what's great about us is that we are centrally located. We're 45 minutes outside of Pittsburgh. So with a quick jump on 79, you can be here um, in a rural area. Um, we have one of the largest livestock shows in this area. Um, we have a huge dairy program. Our 4-H and our FFA is unparalleled. We have phenomenal food vendors as well as um, rides and entertainment. There is so much to do. There is, and we are a $10 ticket, and it's all-inclusive. Uh, $10 includes your parking, your admission to the grandstands, and your rides. That's what's so nice. You don't have to pay extra no. to get onto the rides. No, no. and it's, cost, it's very um, cost-friendly for families. Um, and that's one of the things we strive for. And there really is something for everyone here. And you have a lot of great people lined up for entertainment this oh, week, yes. too. Yeah, so actually beginning this evening, we have uh, dr uh, drag races. Tomorrow night is the Chris Higby Band, um, who is a local favorite. Thursday night is another huge draw with the truck and tractor pulls. Friday is everyone's favorite, the rodeo. And Saturday, the demolition derby, followed by fireworks from our own hometown company, Pyrotechnica. There is a lot. Oh, that's going to be good. There's yes. a lot going on. Yes. Well, we have another special lady with us. Emily Withers. Yes, Emily Withers is our newly crowned fair queen. So you just, congratulations, Emily. Thank you. And what did you bring me? I like this girl already. Well, so my favorite thing is the food here at the fair. Oh, and yeah. I brought you a little burrito. Oh, ooh, is this chicken? I don't want to be too messy. I'm known to be messy <laughs> on camera. So I'll just take a little graceful bite. Mm. Thank you so much, and congratulations. You look stunning. I love your crown. You're welcome. Thank you. I have another wonderful lady with me, Paige Clive. Paige, check this out, everybody. Last year, she won the grand champion market goat. That is big. Congratulations. How are you going to do this year? Well, I hope to do good this year. We showed goats yesterday mm -hmm. um, and had a very good day. We had champion goat yesterday, so it's still a very good day. Nice. And yes. who do we have with us here? This is my lamb. Her name's Baby. She was a bottle baby from home. Home, baby, home so grown cute. and home raised. Oh my goodness. Yes. So, so how do you prepare baby? How could I learn some tips from you today? Um, the big thing is making sure that she's clean. So we'll give her a bath with some soap and water and then we'll shear all the wool off of her except for on her legs. I know, I love and it. And we'll she keep her legs good. nice and fluffy so that um, they look really cute and nice and clean. How long have you been showing animals? Oh, I've been showing animals ever since I was little. Amazing. My How parents, old are you now? I'm 20 now. Wow. So yes. pretty much your whole childhood, this yes. is what you grew up doing. Yep. Okay, Paige, I want to see if I could try preparing baby for the big show. Okay, Paige, I'm going to give you the mic. Can you walk me through this? Oh, yes. no, it's okay, baby. Come on. <laughs> so we're just going to walk do, forward do, do, do. and she'll just walk. All right. She, it's good because you're behind me. <laughs> I'm afraid to pull. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, yes. Nice, nice. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this, Paige. If you need me, I'll be back today. <laughs> you can show her for yeah. me today. <laughs> I'm showing this one, Heather and Mikey. How am I doing? I, come you're on, baby. Good. Selena, you're I like the it. goat whisperer. No, well. <laughs> the, I, I just want to pick baby up. Baby, baby is so cute. Yeah. Oh, baby. And baby ooh, might need a ride, I, I, I want think. this one. Oh, uh, the pigs yes, might the pig, be my yeah. favorite, ooh. I think, Selena. I, I know, Heather, I love the pigs. <laughs> look I at that thing. I just want to home with me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think this, this is the place to be, guys. Awesome. It's incredible. It's Who so fun. Uh, Tyler Door. Oh, I'm getting another lesson here. I'm, I'm going to be showing animals before you know it, guys. <laughs> well, you have so much fun, Selena. This has been a blast. Yeah. <laughs>
I, I was concerned when she had the burrito, the chicken burrito with the goat. I'm like, should you be eating a chicken burrito in the goat pen? I don't I, know. Well, I think it all it all ended well. Yeah. <laughs> well, Selena, she'll be back later in the show for more fun fun from the Lawrence County Fair. Uh, we hear cows may be involved next too, so can't wait for that. Who knows what'll happen? <laughs>